we go. Hi guys, it's Mrs. Amy. I'm here today to do a silly science experiment with you all. And I have my lovely assistant, Miss Lucy. Hi. Today we're going to be doing something called the leak proof bag. So I have this lovely bag here and it's filled with water. You guys can see that. And I'm wondering what might happen if I took this pencil and I poked it through my bag filled with water. What do you think would happen? Oh, it would make a totally big mess. A totally big mess. We'll see. So you guys, here's your list for your supplies that are needed, right? So you need a Ziploc bag, you need water, you need round pencils that are sharpened really, really well. Make them really pointy. You need a bucket or your sink, and you need an adult. Okay. Why do you need the bucket? Yeah. In case things spill or they're messy. Or in case you're right and I poke the pencil through and the water all spills out everywhere. Okay, so your first step is you're gonna take your Ziploc bag and you're gonna fill it with water about three quarters of the way full. And then you're gonna seal it shut. You wanna make sure you get it sealed nice and shut. Then, you want to make sure that your round pencil is sharpened. The sharper, the better. Now, you or your assistant will hold the bag over the bucket, please. Two hands. There you go. Now, you're going to take your pencil and you're going to push it through the bag. And you're going to go through one side and through the other. But you're not going to push your pencil all the way through because then your spirit experiment will turn into a cleanup activity, and we don't want that. So here we go. We're gonna take my pencil. It's the scary part, Lou, are you ready? We're gonna push it through the bag, and then out through the other side. And look at that, guys. There is our bag of water with our pencil through it. And what happened? It didn't make a mess. It didn't make a mess. Don't take the pencil out. Don't take the pencil out. It that is very good messy. advice. Don't take the pencil out. So, what happened here? What What's going on? So the reason that no water spills out of the holes is because Ziploc bags are made of a polymer. And polymers have really long chains of molecules that are really flexible. So when you poke the sharp pencil through the baggie, the pencil slides in between the chain of molecules that make up the polymer. And the molecule chains make a seal around the pencil that won't let the water out. Science. It's crazy, right? Science is a total crazy thing. I do not know. All right. So if we want to go even farther with this, we could see if we could put more than one pencil in at a time. So I'll hold the bag and Lucy, straight through, all the way through. Oh my goodness. Look we at that. We put two pencils in. Two <gasps> pencils? What about three? Holy cow. It looks like stairs. <laughs> three. Let's try one more. What about four? Whoa! So the thing you can do is you can try experimenting with different types of bags, different sizes, different thicknesses. The thicker the bag, the harder it is for the pencil to push through. You could try really thin bags, like a produce bag from the grocery store. You could try different sizes of pencils, different shapes. Some pencils have flat edges, and you could see how that works when you push it through. You could also do one final thing. What do you think is going to happen when you pull the pencil out? It's going to make a mess, can we? We gotta make sure though that you do it over your bucket or your sink. It's gonna be fine. Whoa! It's hard to see guys, but it is leaking out into the bucket. Whoa! 
We've made a mess. We totally have. We all have to clean off. And there we go. My pencil didn't make any leaks because <laughs> it was the line was already too down. Oh, I just thought about something. So that's our science experiment for the day. We hope you really enjoy it. We hope you can try it out with some of the stuff that you have at home. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay happy, and we'll see you next week with a craft project. Okay. Bye, guys. Bye.